این کار به روی وگینان رینه ها بنگری This is you, Raylan with the International Ballast Act of Lucifer Live already, I'm getting um, Reading this um, Damn, wow uh, I mean, it was kind of funny at first because it was ridiculous and then it just goes, wow So, um Hold on one second, I just want to be able to share it. And then I'll read it to you. And then I post this on the site. Okay, so hang on to your hats. This is probably really infuriating because, oh, because of this. This is some shit, yo. <laughs> it's like 2018 and this is what's happening really. This is something. This is autism advocacy to what purpose? I do not know. But uh, this is the perfect example of this letter to the autistic community it is a perfect example of um why we have to rise and get our voices heard and start outlining where the violations of the Autism International and Human Rights Charter come into this because this is not okay. It's not okay to talk to many people like this. It's not okay to talk to the youth like this. It's not okay to talk to activists like this standing up for their civil rights. What the fuck kind of advocacy is that? Sounds like it's personal and me, 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 because you like to have a feel good campaign for yourself. Why don't you throw out some inspiration porn? Oh, wait, you did. All right. So, but it was inspiration porn you wrote for yourself. How fucked up is that? Woo! Positive affirmation. You help me with that. Just shoot. Just that bit, right? Okay, so this is a uh, official release statement from Color Books. Did I drop this link here? You can you can see it on their site or you can see it on my site. I don't even fucking care. It's a press release at this point. All right, so the photo of Zach and his mom, Whitney, is captioned with, and this is on Kohler Books, Zach with his mom, Whitney, the author, showing the incredible love between a mother and a son. By John Kohler, publisher, Kohler Books, author of seven books, advocate for people with disabilities, person living with bipolar syndrome. This he wrote for us, by the way. You actually autistic people. This is their response to our civil rights movement and the response to um, autistic youth and autistic people taking a stand. Um, 
And these people say they have autistic advocacy at their heart and that they love us and everything but us, everyone but you, everyone but that. But let me get into that because I think we have here the perfect example of what we've been speaking about for years and years and years. And this is the Russian Luther troll quote guy. Trying to sound professional. They get to self-publish it out. They have to with a, a fancy template for their paid site. To, this is obviously their marketing department. To, um, is anyone done? Just, wow. Okay, so <coughs> I talked to a few folks. Maybe someone can help. <coughs> Start bringing attention on this. Um, it says here on April 15, Kohler Books will officially publish Whitney Ellenby's Autism Uncensored. Pulling back the curtain, we agree to publish Ellenby's book for the same reason any publisher would. And of course, this is by the publisher of Kohler Books, author of Seven Books himself. The author had written number one, this is the listing of reasons <coughs> to the actually autistic people why they're going to forward moving on with this book, even though there's been a um, change.org petition. This is really, it just looks like a, a self publishing house. Um, <laughs> And they have money. They have Hampton money, by the way. So they're pimping their own shit. Um, so on April 15th, Kohler Books will officially publish Whitney Elmby's Autism Uncensored. Pulling back the curtain. We agreed to publish Elmby's book for the same reason any publisher would. One, the author had written an excellent book, well crafted and with a strong, logical, narrative voice. Two, the writing was clean and the craft excellent. Three, the author is writing about her personal experience from a deck, from a strong advocate position, a position of expertise based on her personal testimony. You, wow. <laughs> That's deep. The author wrote the book to share her story in the hopes of helping other parents of autistic children who are dealing with extremely difficult issues of control, and you desperately want to give their children the best possible life, bring in the violins. LMB offers her views and experience dealing with the unorthodox method. She specifically adapted to Zach so he could live a full life. That's what they're calling autistic child abuse. Noted. You can't explain that shit away. We got the charter of rights and it. What happened there was wrong. That was a privileged, ableist, non-autistic parent forcing an experimental treatment of immersion therapy that could have gone horribly, horribly, horribly wrong and was very, very abusive, triggering a fight or flight for, what, 36 minutes? And screening equal access under ADA for her to be there at the same time. No. Fuck you. First of all, you could take your privilege Hampton bullshit with your whatever white privilege I'm assuming is what you got. Try and pull that if you don't have white skin privilege any fucking where and somewhere without money. Come talk. I, what the what planet are you living on? Oh, so out of touch with the actual world. 
All right, so the author wrote a book to share her story in the hopes of helping other parents of autistic children who are dealing with extremely difficult issues of control and who desperately want to give their children the best possible life. Ellen B. offers her views and experience dealing with the unorthodox methods she specifically adapted to Zach so he could live a full life. The author clearly states in the prologue that she understands that her methods are unorthodox, experimental, and even controversial. She in no way endorses them for others to follow. Is that like an illegal clause escape so she can't take responsibility for encouraging other parents to do this and abuse their children? I mean, really, what's that, a fucking clause? Get out of jail free? Get out of feeling bad about what you're saying for free? No, not to sick community. Nah. She offers them as a part of her own individual narrative along with her unique perspectives about autism in hope of helping some parents with autistic children. Not all parents, just some. Just some just some of them. And certainly not autistic people. We're not the audience. Again. Um, I guess we gotta put our blinders on and um, stuff our ears and pretend that we cannot see or hear what's being said and written about this, but it's okay. Segregation, thank you for that. Because she has seen how much the message she has employed for her own son, Zach, has helped him to realize, <laughs> you're gonna love it. She's gonna help him to realize his own civil rights and live a more complete life. <laughs> Angel wings pop on now. Uh, uh, activate. They should have like transformers. <laughs> Those are blazing. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a fun fucking month, right? It gets better. This is just the start. I haven't even read the rest of it because it just got to the point where I was like, you guys gotta hear this. It's unbelievable. But I gotta get high for this shit because it's fun. Gotta smoke a go to deep. Deep. Like the ableist world sweet away. <coughs> oh, ableism, take me away. All right. <clears throat> the author has an excellent following of readers and is well connected in the autism community. Let me clarify this very much so. That is not the autistic community. Any way, shape, or form, that is Hollywood autism community. <coughs> What is that? What is it? Posers? <clears throat> it's a neurotypical version of the autism world. It has nothing to do with us. We just watch it like the rest of you. <coughs> Bit of fiction it is. Huh? Bit of fiction it is. Bit of fiction it is. <coughs> it's amazing. <coughs> 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 Sorry. Go get some. It is. Okay. Right, so number seven, her marketing and promotional plans were and are excellent. She gets it. What is she getting? <coughs> like she knows how to get what? Marketing, she understands it. So she knows how to market on the back of autistic while silencing them at the same time. No kid. All right, I'm just clarifying that. I'm just making sure I understand what's being said to me. From a publishing perspective, we all, we saw, huh? Okay, from a pub, sometimes I just have to read the words because I don't quite see it. It's at first okay. From a publishing perspective, we saw all green lights to get behind Ellen B's book. What does that mean? Uh, 
Oh, it, it, all the signals were there to tell him it was a good book to get behind. Oh, okay. Now it would appear based on the rankings on Amazon and elsewhere, along with pre-orders that our judgment was correct. Is that condescending towards autistics? Is he talking down to me? Talking down to me in my eloquent writing? Mm. <laughs> Anyone else I got that's really eloquent? Uh. Yes, even when they cannot talk, those motherfuckers can still type in this autistic revolution. Don't you worry about this or do not. Right, so here here we go, the grandiose. The grandiose is coming. All right, now it would appear, based on the rankings on Amazon and elsewhere, along with pre-orders, that our judgment was correct. Autism and Censored received two Amazon Best Release Awards in particular categories and continues to rank in the top 100 books about the mentally disabled. Oh. Is Amazon suggesting this parent doesn't have her wellness and stability in fact? Because the last I checked, autism was a developmental disability. You think an autism advocate would fucking know that? Basic 101. Developmental disability is what it's considered. Not I mean, and don't get me wrong, I'm totally fucked in the head with PTSD. I have mental disability, but that was not anything to do with being autistic. It was living autistic and being harmed by neurotypicals. So, um, yeah, fuck you. I also was particularly interested in Ellen B's book for other professional and personal reasons. Did you just like... I am trying to sound professional, and this is what that sounds like when I write. I mean, that's what I'm hearing. Is that what you hear? I just hear this. Uh, is that the tone? Yeah, I can see that. Okay. I'm just making sure. Because I just I keep seeing these images of just the emperor's new clothes. That guy, too, you know? Um, is that, like, related somehow? Is that how he's talking? I don't know. We'll get there. I was also, oh, I also was particularly interested in LME's book for other professional and personal reasons. One, I am bipolar and have been living with this syndrome for half my life since I was 30. My first book was Bipolar by Kohler. <laughs> I'd like to know. <laughs> it rhymes, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Radio. Radio. Which was my personal testimony, open and raw, about my life as a bipolar person. The book allowed me to help many BP people and their loved ones, just as Ellen B's book will help many parents of kids with autism. No autistic included in that statement. Just the parents. Noted. Two, I served as a director of Young Life, some fucking long name, in Hampton Roads. Well, ta -da! good for fucking you. Take your yacht and go. For five years, from 2005 to 2010, God called me into this Christian ministry. Here we go. Get ready. In part because I have a disability, and I think because I was not afraid of anyone, nor did I treat people with disabilities any differently than abled bodies but called them up to the best life they could have and help them not to use their disability as an excuse for bad behavior. Bad autistic, bad, you feral fuckers. 
We're feral. We're bad autistics. Oh, no. No, dude. I like being bad. Badass. <laughs> what the fuck? They're scolding. They're scolding us. They're scolding me. Big Christian daddy scolding me. Does that mean it justify you're supposed to be good people because you're Christian? I don't understand that. There's so many people that are autistic all over the world. We're not specific to any religion, culture, race. Nothing. I don't get it. So um, if someone can help me understand that, that would be great because I do not even understand how that applies. Well, I don't know. I'm autistic. I just don't get it. Because I'm autistic. I just don't get it. Sucks to be me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hanging out here tonight with y'all, coming in and reading the publisher's press release to the actually autistic people, John Kohler, about the book, Autism Uncensored, also known as hashtag Omomom in the autistic community. I've seen it hashtag Helmom as well. Hashtag Whitney Allen me. <coughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Self care for. These Hamptons people are something, right? Okay. Go over there with Judith Newman and a fucking doorman in New York. Hot damn. <coughs> oh, damn it. Okay, everyone, hang on to your seats. Get out the popcorn, put on the shades. It's getting cinematic. All right, I'm just going to start with number two. I served as a director of Young Life, whatever fucking place, and Houston. For five years, from 2005 to 2010, God called me into this Christian ministry in part because I have a disability. And I think because I was not afraid of anyone, nor did I treat people with disabilities any differently than able body, but called them up to the best life they could have and help them to not use their disability as an excuse for bad behavior. We took kids out of wheelchairs and let them wrestle. Some folks were appalled because no one had ever done it, but the kids loved it. Now everyone does it. <laughs> oh God, I don't know how to laugh or cry. It's hard. Both are just swimming inside of me. This is worse than any of the worst puns you ever told me, though. It's hurting so bad. Oh, way terrible. Huh? But wait, there's more. Oh, you tell me, but wait, there's more. He read ahead. So, uh, <laughs> let's go see what else the Hampton people have to say to us, actually, artistic folk. Is he writing this from his yacht? Oh, this bitch is, whoa. Three, I continue to be an advocate for people with disabilities. I continue to give talks to local groups ministering to adults with disabilities, including the chosen. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming a religious association. I support Faith Inclusion Network. Another call out to Christian arms? I don't know. Is that what he's trying to do? Get the Christians to gang up on the autistic? I'm not understanding. It feels like a threat, but I'm not sure why. Mm -hmm. A ministry that advocates for inclusion of our people across all faith groups. I'm involved with the Tidewater Piranhas, 
a power soccer team here in Hampton Roads. Oh man, he's big in the Hamptons. <laughs> I just keep imagining white jackets and, and shorts with these boat shoes walking around like this. Back up, privileged motherfuckers, right? <laughs> We're in the Hamptons. That makes us somebody incredibly amazing to the autistic people. Ah. You got a oh, shit. It gets worse. Oh, my God. It gets worse. How am I supposed to continue reading this? Can you help me read this? Not that part. Not that part. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Okay. I am involved with Tidewater Piranhas, a power soccer team here in Hampton Roads, and I'm organizing a fundraiser that these awesome people with spina bifida, cerebral palsy, MS, and many other physically debilitating maladies can be rock stars on and off the court. Oh my fucking god! I'm seeing a bad Facebook. Adam Sandler wrestling with wrestling and soccer, and the overprivileged rich kid who's trying to organize it all. <laughs> How much money have they made off of their ventures in autistic land? Oh God, how many people have made so much money off the back of autistics? And you know, we ain't living in the Hamptons, fucker, <laughs> or part of the New York elite. These people are so out of touch with fucking reality. And what the autistic people mean. Holy shit. Hey, Kale. Right. So if you're still with me, I don't know. I'm just trying to work my way through this. But um, this is a uh, Kohler book publisher response to the autistic people's civil rights uproar against this book. Um, Autism Uncensored by Whitney Ellen B, also known in our community forevermore as hashtag Elmo Mom. Can't make that go away. That's autistic history. Woo! Going in our journals. Um, Can you help me with number four? It goes through a lot of lists. Polar Books is an advocate for all people, in particular authors who are writing to help the community in some fashion. We have published books that help people with, and I'm going to skip the list and just say it ranges from eating disorders to nervous disorders, ADHD, smoking, addictions, and helping the elderly live a whole life. No, they help the elderly too? Oh, no. To help people use dogs to help them live with diabetes. Oh wow. Did my angel wings pop out again all by themselves? This all is gonna be automatic. All the things they're doing to help. Do I have a halo? <laughs> a little it's crooked, a, but yeah, well of course my halo's crooked. It's it's actually the shape of an infinity symbol and it's gold. Because that's how we go. We light it up gold and we go red in shit. Yes, you may continue on to number five. Thank you, dear husband and uh, international badass reporter helper, Bill. Hot hubby. Mm. Disembodied voice. Disembodied <laughs> voice. His hair is awesome, though. It's killing me. We believe in a free press and believe book publishing comes under that protection. The constitutional right to free speech, as clearly stated in the First Amendment, Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or the press or the right of people to peaceably assemble at a petition of government for redress of government <sighs> of grievances. <laughs> we do not cover, nor are we beholden to any group or individual who states their opinions about any work that we have or are about to publish. We welcome their opinion as long as they respect our rights to share the opinions of our authors. We do not consider nor respond to any actions, letters, or notes demanding that we do not publish any work. Internet bullies, whether they claim to be autistic or not, do not exist to us and are put in the trash. What the fuck? Okay, wait, hold on. Say it again, Bill. Internet bullies, whether they claim to be autistic or not, do not exist to us 
and will be put in the trash. The autistic people taking a rise, the autistic rise for our civil rights movements, the autistic revolution has been equated. We have become internet bullies and questionable if we're autistic or not. Oh my God, are your autism mom TM bingo cards just going crazy? I think we've got like grandparents winners. Someone's going to Vegas, not one of us, someone's parents so they can have a great vacation. But um, and then one of us can go to the library. How about that? That would be great. I would love that. <laughs> or a thrift store, but nothing else. Having said that, I personally appreciate the rights of people with autism, or anyone for that matter, oh. to voice their opinions. I encourage you to voice your opinions. That's bloody motherfucker. I, I encourage you to voice your opinions <laughs> elsewhere. Huh? Because your voice is deaf to this publisher when you ask that any book not be published. That is blatant censorship and will only backfire and raise awareness about this book, thus causing it to sell more copies. Alpha. And so there, that's the so official far, publisher's so response. Is, and so there. Nah, 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 nah. Autistic, you aren't autistic. You aren't worthy of our compassion and support. You, you kids who are speaking up that are autistic need to shut the fuck up. No. Ho-ho. Autistic moms are in the house. Sit the fuck down. Let's move. Read more. Many of the misguided emails we have received about LMB's book are based solely on the heavily edited article about her and her book that was published by the Washington Post. Oh, it can't be you. It's them, everybody. All right, gaslighting is thick tonight. Oh, yeah, I wrote, a, I wrote an article called, um, you know, I don't recognize a mindfuck, and you guys are all through this shit. Guys, demon, go ahead. <laughs> Any opinions based on that article are incomplete and, quite frankly, make high-functioning literate people with autism appear to be less than intelligent. Oh my god, less than intelligent than what? So, see, I always get this, hey, I'm autistic and I have high intelligence and I have a lot of disabling issues as well, which are none of your fucking business because I'm not a pity party for myself. I'm badass, see? This is how this looks? So fuck y'all. Um, if you do not read the entire book, then you are like the person who meets you and decides that all people with autism are just like you. That would be completely untrue. I'm sorry, are you parenting me? Go back again. Is this how you parent Zach? You tell him what his civil rights are. Go back and tell me that again. If you do not read the entire book, then you are like the person who meets you and decides that all people with autism are just like you. That would be completely untrue. There's one thing I know that's a trend amongst autistic people. This is the autistic fucking salute. It's one of the first things we fucking do because a lot of us get pissed off and go mute. So fuck you. <laughs> Zach is not like you. Hell no, poor baby. You know who he is. He's stuck with you. You are smart. So I call upon you too. All caps. Be smart. Zach I have no choice this is not a behavior or a decision it's something i have and it's not easy no matter what you think it's complicated zach is unable to express himself like you do he is terrified of close spaces and new places and new people oh well no shit his mom held them down for 36 fucking minutes in an experiment on her child using him as a lab rat Killing his fight or flight instinct, becoming exactly like abused children do. But, Please go. I'm sorry. Am I preaching to the choir? But he is far from stupid. He communicates. Why are they using the word stupid in the name of Zach? Why are you using these kind of, I mean, they're supposed to be disability rights advocates, but they're using these slurs. These are disability fucking slurs. Stop it. You can pull out the word R next. Jesus. He communicates just not as articulately as you. He cannot write much at all. Certainly not as amazing as you can. But if he could, I think he would thank his mom and dad for helping him to live big. 
Oh, so the publisher is now the voice of Zach. Thanks. Noted. He would tell you to open up your mind. Zach is speaking to things. us through. Wait, there's a puppet for that. There's Zach is speaking through us. Speaking to us through. There's gotta be a puppet for that. <laughs> I know. Hand me the. Hand me the. Hand me the. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, here's Peacock. Alright, Peacock is um Zach. Right? That's how this works. He's Zach and um this is the voice the publisher being the voice for Zach, but here's Zach and now you look at Zach and listen to this voice talking because that's he's speaking for him. But if he could speak and write as eloquently as you. <laughs> I'm not being oh, no, no, right I'm now. sorry, he said high. articulately. I don't want to do these two syllables. Um I can really he cannot write high. much at all, certainly blah blah, blah 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 blah. But if he could, I think he would thank his mom and dad. For helping, Thank him to you, live, man. for helping him to live big. <laughs> <laughs> he would tell you to open up your mind and consider new things. No, that's crazy. Don't do that. You can keep your head put together. They, they don't need to get into our fucking heads. Stay out of he, autistic brains. We are telling you. No. He would tell you that his mom never abused him. She never hurt me. That she Ever. loves him. That she loves him to the moon and back. So much. <laughs> he might even tell you to mind your own business. My own business. Because you have no right to tell him how to live. Yeah. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. Oh my god. He would tell you that his mom never abused him, that she loves him to the moon and back. He might even tell you to mind your own business because you have no right to tell him how to live. Wow, Zach talks a fucking lot for someone who doesn't speak anything, can't write anything. And it's too fucking stupid your words to be expressing anything to do with civil rights. So you taught him how to know his civil rights. I see how it's working out for the rest of us. Fuck you. Whoa! Wow! Privileged, pretentious fucker. I wonder if you truly care about Zach. We do. Do you care about him enough to let him live with the help that only his parents can give him? We have the Autist International Charter of Human Rights. Zach and this book and his mother are in violation of his human rights his autistic rights to humanity. So maybe you should read that before publishing this kind of fucking shit. So go ahead. Oh, I'm so mad, sorry. No, I'm not sorry, I'm angry. This is all reading to be angry. Let me tell you something about people who are bipolar. I am on the high end of the spectrum. Oh, hold on, I wonder if yeah. Ashley's at the house. Let me go get Ashley, she could chime in. If Tell me if this is true because I don't know. I don't have that lived experience of being bipolar, but we do have an activist. Uh, actually, on this site, maybe um, if she's ever around, she can help us understand this perspective more, too. This is easy to do. I'm on the high end of the spectrum, just like you. Oh, we're autistic like you now, and I'm bipolar like not you. I take medication. Have a good circle of family and friends who look out for me. I try my best to stay connected to God, and I try to help others with bipolar by advocating and writing. But is he running for office? Are you going to be a politician now? But there are some bipolar people who are much worse off than me. Medication has little effect, and they're suicidal, and they can't live a full life. All options are closed except for one. Bum, bum, bum. ECT. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. First of all, everyone, let me just explain to you. In 2014, I was taught by each mind matters. 
how to share my story about living with severe mental illness, PTSD, and this neurological disorder, right? So that's very not understood yet. Um, I have been speaking to, I think, over 900 law enforcement, first responders, everybody in my community about living with mental illness, about my experience of being on a 5150 call and about the whole life of going from an active, productive member of society to being spit on while sitting at the bus stop. So, you know, um, you're not the activist that, um, like the people I know. No, because they're homeless. Their incarceration is care and abuse and no mental health system in place. So don't fucking come talk to me about this shit. I've seen too much every day I've lived it. Thank you, motherfucker. All right, I'm sorry, go on. So electroconvulsive therapy. It is a disgusting and gross solution to me and perhaps you too, but then I don't need ECT. I have a choice. Meds work for me, but for thousands who just want to die, they will use it. And it Why can't... is he throwing around suicidal language like that? Autistics early number one cause of death is suicide. And he's using this kind of triggering language in response to actually autistic people knowing full fucking well how triggering this is because he knows full fucking well um apparently saying so right here mental illness backgrounds and how to trigger people into sensory meltdowns and how to trigger them into psychotic breaks just like this yeah thank you so but for thousands who just want to die they will use it and it can work for them it can allow them to live a more normal life fuck you zach's parents were desperate to help him live a more normal life so they tried something new it worked and now this book will offer new hope. You know, when I was in the psychiatry ward, when I was in Stanford Psychiatry in 2013, there were a lot of people there who did have ECT. They were under a hospital's care. They were under professional's care. They had sedation and they had consent. See, they gave their consent. Zach had no ability to give consent. His human rights are being violated, so don't get any of that fucking confused. Now, please, go on. It worked, and now this book will offer new hope to many parents who love their children. I know you disagree, and that's okay. You have a right to disagree, but you do not have the right to censor the publication of this book or threaten my company with any action. We have the right to have a civil rights movement and protest the publication of this book in person, online, forever. It is our civil rights. It's it's my fuck. I'm an American citizen, just like you. I think I don't know Hamptons. I mean, is they they consider themselves a part of us, or are they just too elite over there? I could have sworn he had cited this weird thing called the First First Amendment earlier. Oh, he cited the First Amendment earlier. I guess that doesn't apply to me, or autistic people, or autistic youth. So hmm. I. But, you know, he's a disability advocate. I urge you to be careful. Ooh, there's a threat. That's a threat. Ooh, I urge you to be careful, a threat. I am not. Did the... you hear that? Did they even? Oh, God, the patterns are ridiculous. Okay. I am not the enemy. I am an advocate, and I have hundreds of friends who live with autism, and I work with some of them. They rock just like you said a lot of people around the world right now autistic and non-autistic what the fuck did he fuck oh he's got a final note oh shut up I got an autistic friend once. He was really um, cool. Guess what? Bill has an autistic wife. He thinks he's really fucking awesome. I challenge you to read the entire book and then state your opinions. That's Privileged after, that's, much. That's after you buy the book from me. Oh, that's 
I'm sorry. A lot of people who are speaking up against this book are actively autistic and homeless right now, coming through on their phones from the street, from shelters, from room and board. Go fuck yourself. Don't talk to me about what you think. They can't afford this book. Who are you so separate from our autistic crisis and our actually autistic community means worthless advocacy is what this is. It's a hate campaign. So I challenge you to read the entire book and then state your opinions. They are welcome. Tell the world what you think. Don't tell a publisher for goodness sake. If you really want to state your opinion, then gather your people and put your thoughts down on paper. <laughs> Write in a constructive way. Oh, he's Tom, Tom policing a civil rights movement. Oh, goody, 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 goody. A way that can help prove the world. Write it down and send the manuscript to me. We'd consider publishing it if it passes the quality test. I dare you to write your stories down. God bless you. Fuck you. Please do not. Bless your little heart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please do not contact me again by phone, email, or any other means regarding the publication of Autism Uncensored. Please don't try to advocate on behalf of autistics around the world to autism advocates. He wants you to shut the fuck up. Man, sounds really political. These people are fucking amazing. The hater is just amazing. I cannot believe this is advocacy done in the name of and these are people who are disability rights lawyers. What the hell is going on in America today? Huh. Okay, so I just had to share that. Um that's all. I'm done. I'm exhausted. We'll pick this back up tomorrow. At least I will. You guys have at it. Take it away. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. I cannot believe what's in here. Please.